This is one of Mom's earliest projects. We were trying to develop a bacteria that would dissolve all the plastic in the oceans. But we, um... Well, she ran out of time. Like, if you have any ideas, it would really mean a lot. Hmm. With some genetic tweaking, I might be able to crack it. But I need a better equipped lab. And the bacteria only lives in liquid environments. Wait. My web fluid. I can keep the bacteria alive in my web cartridge. Yes, you should have the chemicals I need to increase its power. Oh man, the bacteria dissolved my web. It's in the cartridge for the webs I swing from. The other kind should be okay. Now I have to get to ESU without swinging from anything. Huh? Get the hell out of me. Whew, the zipline webs seem fine. My bad. Well, I'm getting a heck of a workout. Gotta hustle. I don't know how long this bacteria stays viable. This is good practice for if my web shooters ever malfunction. You think these people never saw a guy jogging on walls? By law, they have to dispose of their chemicals in these containers. Should be some stuff I can use. All set. Now I have to get to Dr. Octavius' lab to combine everything. I'll just take the subway, but the bacteria won't survive that long. Sorry, I'm usually web swinging.
Okay, now I just need to grab the bonding agent. listening, aren't you? Always observing, memorizing, stealing. Who have you told about the neural interface, hmm? About my work? Well, it stops here, Parker. I trusted you. But instead of recognizing my genius, what did you do? Tried to tear it down! Accused it of flaws. There are no flaws! It's a thing of beauty. A perfect extension of the mind itself into the world. Thought given form by these incredible arms. And I have only one thought on my mind now. Norman's reputation lying in tatters before me. Time to give it shape. And now the industrial centrifuge that'll get the bacteria out of my web fluid so I can store it properly. Just need to isolate the bacteria. Beautiful. I think I improved the bacteria. But I can only tell for sure back at Harry's research station. Parker says the interface is dangerous, but the boy's a neophyte. Never truly created anything. Thinks we can stay on the sidelines, avoiding the mud. Men died to found this nation. They died to get us to the moon. Every great push forward demands blood. And this next push... Stink. It may yet be the bloodiest of them all. Not gonna let that happen, Doc. He was planning this right under my nose. Was it just an idea in his head until the interface pushed him over the edge? How long was he using the device before I realized? The neural interface is exacerbating Doc's rage. He may not be able to come back from this. Defense contracts. He was designing gear for my greatest enemies this entire time. Probably thought it was funny with me making Spider-Man's gear just next door. So many good memories of working here. All tainted now. Doc wasn't just reinforcing the arms. He was turning them into weapons.
Should have my web swinging back. Let's see. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, sweet web swinging. I'll never take you for granted again. I hope this works. I remember when Harry's mom started the project. It meant so much to them both. Where there's a web, there's a way. There's the testing receptacle, full of plastic. Let's see what happens. It's working. Not as fast as I'd hoped, but better than before. Probably needs further testing. It didn't get all the plastic, but it's a big step forward. Enough for Oscorp to keep working on it. They'd win the Nobel Prize, and it wouldn't hurt their stock price either.